So, no. no. Is it off the bat or off the bat? What does it even mean? Who's back and what bat are we talking about? Like Batman? Batman's back. <laughs> so I know right off Batman's back that a lot of you guys are going to be like, this is such an immature topic, how to hide your farts. Well, let's just be real for a second. This is a real issue that we've all had to deal with before. And if you've never had to deal with hiding your farts before, you either never leave the house or you've never had a bad meal in your life or you just have really strong butthole muscles. <laughs> butthole muscles. Butthole but muscles. Butthole what? muscles. I'm not going to act like I'm butthole the most muscles. mature person in the world. It's clearly I'm not. If I were mature, I probably wouldn't have repeated the phrase butthole muscles like 20 times off camera just because it sounded funny. Butthole muscles. <laughs> <laughs> butthole muscles. It's not even butthole muscles. It's just butthole muscles. Nobody else will get that. You guys would know what I'm talking about. Butthole muscles. I actually think it's even more immature that people judge other people as being immature just for doing something that's completely natural. That's like being judged for sneezing. You can't control if a sneeze comes or goes. It just happens. And that should be the same for farts. Farts are basically butt sneezes. And they shouldn't be looked down on. They should be blessed. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Bless you. Thanks. Oh, that's gross. Oh. Unfortunately, this is just not the world we live in today. We live in a place where farts are considered rude, inappropriate, immature. Well, I've compiled tips and techniques for all of you to help survive this cruel, fart-hating world. And I will keep fighting for the freedom of farts, but until that day comes, viewers allowed to hide your farts. Dedicated to all you people out there with weak butt muscles. It's, it's a good word. Okay, yeah, I'm a little immature. Fine. So in order to hide a fart, you must first understand the science of a fart. When you make a fart sound with your mouth, it's created because your lips are pressed together and air is trying to escape your mouth. It goes the same for your butt, but if you were to open your lips and do the same thing, there's almost no sound at all. The same thing applies to your butt. That's why this first one is called the cheek spreader. This technique is perfect for when you're in class or any place that you're sitting down. All you have to do while you're sitting down is put all your weight on one butt cheek, slide to the other side to create that opening, and before you... Oh. Shit. Silent fart. <laughs> and one of the most terrible times to be gassy is when you're on a date. Not that I go on a lot of dates, I, it's actually been a really long time. Probably because I make videos about farts. Anyway, the gentleman <laughs> is the perfect technique for when you're on a date. All you have to do is open the door, let her in, close the door, and as you're walking to your side of the car... <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> His face though. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Hey, it should be going on a date with farts like that. Cheek sync. So we all know what a lip sync is. It's when somebody syncs up their lips to a song to pretend like they're singing. But in this scenario, instead of lips, you have cheeks. If you're in a scenario where you have to relieve some gas, just listen for something around that you can cheek sync to. And sometimes there might not be that many sounds, but you just have to listen carefully. For example, if you're in an elevator, sync up your farts to the beat. <laughs> That's a small elevator. Raising the ball. So I don't know if you guys remember, but I had a technique like this a long time ago in a previous video. And basically this strategy is if there's no other sounds around you to cheek sync to, take matters into your own hands and just make something louder than your fart. <laughs> <laughs> I do that. <laughs> Oh shit. The 
Uh, in the refrigerator? Uh, and last but not least, the oldest trick in the book, the blame. This is for when oh, all the yeah. methods mentioned above fails. All you have to do, blame it on someone else. Yep. Ah. Did you just fart? It, uh, you know, I thought I heard that too. It, who was that? Who did that? There's no one else around but us. <laughs> you know, it probably just came from the TV or something. Um, and then <laughs> when we sat down, I felt the couch move when I sat down, like the leg of the chair on the floor must have created like a vibration that made a weird sound or something. The couch has bolted to the floor. That's weird that your family would bolt. Then you know what, I mean, are you sure it wasn't you then? I, I know it wasn't me. Then we know it must have been your damn dog. I was farting and- Dad, that was you! Don't blame that shit on me! <laughs> Oh shit. <laughs> and when all those fails and every single one of those tips and techniques doesn't work, the best tip I can give to you is to just own up to it. If you're gonna get caught, you might as well make it look like you did it on purpose. And like I said in the beginning, there really isn't anything wrong with farting in the first place. There's no reason to be embarrassed. It's natural. All those people that judge you for them, they're the immature ones. Be proud of your farts. Let them shout from the highest <laughs> mountain. Let them soar through the vents of the AC. Let Ew. them be free. And join me. In oh the shit. <laughs> <laughs> together, we can free farts forever. One little step at a time. One little fart step. <laughs> Hey, uh, hey, uh, uh, it's like that. What is a dubstep song? Oh, <laughs> drop the beat. <laughs> look, look over there. There's that guy over there, he's clearly the one that was. Why is, why, why, is, why is the camera still on me? That wasn't. Okay, yeah, that was me. Do dogs fart? So yeah. Do you know what's farting before? Yeah. That shit is fucking stink. For real? Yeah. Cause he's done it here? Oh, I've never heard him fart. Is it loud? That's not loud, but if you close enough, you can hear him. That shit fucking stinks. That's funny. Um, but... Yeah, I mean, I don't... I mean, now that you, now that you, you know, we've seen this video, um, it doesn't, you know... You shouldn't be embarrassed. What's your favorite right? fart technique? I know this sounds weird. Um, hold on. <laughs> nah, I might have to think about it. You go. Um, cause I did it at work a couple of times. What, what, what's your technique? What do you do? Um, <laughs> alright, cause what? I work, I work at Chipotle. And, uh, sometimes I will wash the dishes. And if my bowel movements aren't really acting up, I would just go in the back and just fart. Oh, that's you just um, go in the back? Yeah, I just go in the back and just let out all of it. Um, but, yeah, that's that's uh, what I do because I do with food all the time, so. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> when I'm uh, when I'm at school, um, the, the, the uh, cheek slide, pause, the first one that he did, the uh, slide, slide mm -hmm. one cheek over, you know what I mean? I do, that's my favorite technique, well not my favorite technique, but that's a pretty good technique. Um, and the blame game, I love that one. If it's a loud fart and I don't expect it to be loud, I'm like, oh bro, you just farted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, don't be in my class if we... You know, if I fart, because I'm definitely going to blame you. Even if we're the, you know what I mean, we, we have a meetup or whatever, and I just so happen to fart. You're going to get blamed. <laughs> yeah, if I fart, I mean, I just farted, you know. Um, I'm not I'm not scared. I'm not scared to fart, you know, regardless of who you are. I just think it's funny to blame somebody. Yeah. Because they're like, oh, you farted. And then they're like, bro, I didn't fart. And yeah, I'm like, go back yes, and you forth. did. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um. I but, know this is a weird conversation, but what are you guys' fart techniques? <laughs> you guys are probably like, whoa, Cooley, you just crossed the line. But come on, we just reacted to a, how to hide your farts. So. Yeah, it's only natural for us for him to say. Come on, just feel, I hope you guys feel comfortable enough to tell us what, what kind of fart techniques do you have. And if Pause, you, by the way. 
<laughs> um, just make sure you put pause in the comment section when you tell us your technique. Yeah, pause. Yeah, that's gonna be funny. <laughs> pause, comment. Pause, Gator and Cooley, but my technique. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it's like, yeah, three. You can choose three. Like, do you keep in your farts? Do you, do you have a technique or do you just let it out regardless of where you are? Cause Holding in your farts isn't healthy. Don't not, hold your farts in. It's not. So keep it cool. Keep it classy. And we love you. Stay awesome. Always and forever. And make sure you stay paused before you tell us your techniques. Exactly.